Hi, this is Asa, and welcome to my audio experience. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. today from Anne Frank. She says, how wonderful it is that nobody needs to wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. Get started today. Improve. Give what you can. Whatever your talents are, whatever your gifts are, whatever your abilities are to make a difference in someone else's life, you have that. And all it is, all you have to do really is to give it. Lori, you're next with us on the show. How can I help? I was wondering if you knew of any um, natural remedies for bunions. Would that work on bunions, do you think? Or do you know, uh, uh, can you recommend any natural remedies for bunions? Because I've got them real bad. Yeah, bunions are a couple couple of things. One, there's an issue with low levels of vitamin D for a long period of time, so you might want to have your vitamin D levels checked on a blood test with your physician. The only challenge is once the bunions have kind of set in, there's not a lot you can do to get those to go away. It's more about prevention than anything. Are they really bad on both feet? Um, especially my right foot. I read online that maybe massaging them with peppermint oil could break up the um, the calcium deposits or whatever that is that, that you know, that causes them. I don't know if that's can, true or not. It can potentially. Like no, it's not, it's not a waste of time. I mean, the peppermint oil mixed with the cayenne can be helpful, but at the end of the day, it, it can begin to break them down a little bit. But the, the, the biggest issue is there's a buildup of calcium because you haven't had enough vitamin D. See, when there's low vitamin D, the calcium really doesn't have any regulator. And the vitamin D is kind of the regulator of it, and it makes a big difference. So if you don't have enough, then that's where you get into trouble. But for the future, keeping your vitamin D levels up is going to be a big key. And you know that now, so that's fine. So it's just about coming up with a new game plan. That, that's what I would do is get a blood test done. And then from this point on, you, do you have a good podiatrist you've been working with? No, not really. I, I just I, I just like to go to natural remedies. My vitamin D was at 50 the last time I had it checked, which they told me wasn't yeah. too bad. Kinda. That's not too bad. 70 no. to 90 is a better place to keep it. Yeah. Just keep, you so just want to get it up on the high end of the range. Yeah, do you eat a lot of calcium-based foods? Mm, no, um, my, my me, diet's very good. My fruit, fresh fruits, vegetables, um, very, very little dairy, goat milk, any, if anything, and kefir. Um, a lot of green vegetables? No, yes, lots of green vegetables. Yeah, so you're getting a ton of calcium. So, it, see, it's about, it's just about, you know, vitamin D at 50 is not bad, don't get me wrong. But when you're dealing with some kind of, nagging little issue like bunions you want to bring it up to that next level and getting those numbers up between about 70 and 90 is really taking it to that next level so that's what i would look into just a couple of things i mean they're not going to go away overnight and that's why i would go meet with a podiatrist just get their opinion i know you want to do it naturally but still just just hear their thoughts i would at least go have uh, a consult and hear what they have to say and then go from there that's that's what I would do personally. All right, triple eight two eight three, seven two seven two. Lines are open with questions about your health. Let's go to Barbara. Hi, Barbara. My mother has aortic stenosis, and I'm wondering if there's anything a person can do other than having the valve surgery. Have the doctors told her that's the only option? Uh, I guess they have. Well, here's the thing. Uh, the the big issue in this with aortic stenosis is many times it's about the only option. And you can support the heart, you can support the heart health, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, you want to make sure that, know, from what I've seen, let me just say this, from what I've seen, surgery is about the only way in that. Now, you can support the heart with B vitamins, omega-3 fats, and a healthy diet. But with, with the aortic stenosis, really, and one, one other thing I have seen, and I've, I've actually read a lot on, and have seen even implemented 
in some more natural alternative practices is increasing uh, high amounts of rutin in the body. You can do that from food-based sources or supplemental for, uh, sources. I would go talk to your health food folks to see what they have in stock and, and, and that kind of thing. But that can be helpful, too. B vitamins are very important when you get deficient in those. You'll see a lot of that with aortic stenosis. But at the end of the day, you want to go talk. I would not discount the potential for surgery on that. I wouldn't. You know, and I'll tell you, I'll shoot you straight and and always tell you kind of my thoughts on that. But, again, I've seen a lot of great success with the surgery, so I wouldn't be too worried about it as long as you're in the hands uh, of a good physician. You know, I wouldn't, you know, you feel comfortable with him, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just because there's there's a lot of, there's a lot of people that really get good results. And I just, they get scared when you start talking surgery, they get, they get, uh, uncomfortable, and you think, well, I only want to go natural. Well, there's some things like with the heart that you don't just want to go all natural. You want to combine good natural habits and good lifestyle-based habits, but you also want to make sure you're using good common sense. Puts another hour in the charts. I want to thank our producer, Jay Patrick, engineer John Garrison, and the rest of the team. Go tell one person something you learned on this show, and together we can transform our health our friends, our families, and our communities. You're listening to the show that helps you get well, stay well, and live well. We're helping you live better. To experience more of Asa Rx audio, visit us at asarx.com. Hi, it's Asa here. Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Do you need a new prescription for your life? I have a special gift for all my listeners. I'm giving away a free copy of my international best-selling book to help you truly live your potential. All you have to do is cover the shipping and handling, and I will give you the book absolutely free. I want to invest in you and your health this year. So get your free copy of my book by visiting myfreehealthbook.com. That's myfreehealthbook.com, and let's get healthy together this year.